It must be strange going to school and then coming home talking about album deals. Yeah, it is. Like, today has been really weird, going from science revision to recording. But I love it. It is a bit strange, isn't it? To be sitting here doing a song, and then the next thing, it's in the charts. It's really strange, yeah. And especially being like at school at the same time, and then um, and all my friends hearing about it and hearing it on the radio. Do you feel like a pop star yet? Um, I, I feel quite strange, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like two worlds, so I suppose I kind of do, yeah. Skinny Love, it was the first um, cover that I did and uh, when I arranged it on the piano it kind of just sounded really good, so. So arranged it, is it just me you did at home then? Yeah, it's just like a song I loved and um, my auntie actually played it to me and I've always loved the song, so yeah. <laughs> and it ended up in the charts? Well, yeah it did and um, I never... I never thought that would happen because it was just the, one of the first covers I'd ever done. Um, so it was really exciting. You've never held your album, have you? No. <laughs> Here it is, your album. <laughs> Thank you. So weird. Does it feel odd holding it? Yeah. It's actually real. <laughs> and you can tell the people have seen your video on YouTube now? I think Skinny Love, the last time I checked, was six million, I think. <laughs> six million have watched? Yeah, I think so. Where do you think you'll be in 25 years' time? I hope just getting my own music out there and um, travelling around the world and playing at huge concerts. Because that's what I love performing, really. You want to be playing Glastonbury? <laughs> yeah, I hope to be one day. Come on.